I am Timmy Choksi. I am assistant professor in LGIT. Student, welcome to session of geodetic survey. In a first session of geodetic survey, I will explain a few topic of this chapter. Like, what is a geodetic survey? Objective of the geodetic survey, and last is the concept of triangulation. So first, you know that. You have already studied in a basic civil engineering subject a primary division of survey. One is a plane survey and second is a geodetic survey. So I have explained first the difference between them. Then after I will explain in detail about the geodetic survey. So you clearly understand. So first difference between the plane and geodetic survey. Is a basic difference. The earth surface is considered as a plane surface in a plane survey, but when the earth surface is considered as a cow, so it is called as a geodetic survey. So in a plane survey, the earth surface is considered as a plane, but in a geodetic survey, the earth surface is considered as a cow surface. Second difference: the curvature of the earth is ignored in plane survey. But the curvature of the earth is taken into account, means it is considered is considerable, so it is called in a geodetic survey. Third, in a plane survey, the line joining any two station is considered to the be straight, but in a geodetic survey, the line joining any two station is considered as a spherical. In a plane survey, the triangle formed by any three points is considered as a plane. But in a geodetic survey, the triangle formed by any three points is considered as a spherical. It is called a spherical triangle. Fifth difference: in a plane survey, the angle of triangle are considered as a plane angle. But in a geodetic survey, the angle of the triangle are considered as a spherical angle. And last, plane survey carried out for a smaller area, less than 250 kilometers square. But area is large, so geodetic survey carried out the larger area, the area greater than 250 kilometers square. So the geodetic survey are so this is a difference of plane survey and geodetic survey. Now understanding the difference of plane survey and geodetic survey, student, I have explained in detail what is a geodetic survey. The geodetic survey is that type of survey in which the curvature of the earth is taken into account. It is generally extend over the larger area. The line joining any two station is considered as a cow. Here, the two station are there. So line joining you consider as a cow line or joining with the cow. So the line joining any two station is considered as a cow line. So this is called as a geodetic survey. The triangle formed by any three point is considered to be spherical. Means this triangle is called as spherical triangle, and the angle of the triangle are considered as to be the spherical angle. So the angle in a geodetic survey I have already explained in a difference. So you will clearly understand. So the triangle are considered to be the Spherical triangle and angle are considered as a considered as a spherical angle. Geodetic survey is conducted by the survey of India Department and is carried out for a larger area, means larger than 250 kilometers square, exceeding 250 kilometers square. So when the area is 250 kilometers square, so geodetic survey is conducted and conducted by the survey of India Department, means some agency are there. And is carried out the larger area exceeding the 250 kilometers square. Now, after the knowing the what is a geodetic survey, the next concept is what is the objective of geodetic survey. So, geodetic is that branch of survey which deals with the area so extensive or larger that is necessary to take into consideration the true shape and dimension of the earth. So, with the help of geodetic survey, you have find 
द साइज और शेप ऑफ द अर्थ सो द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ जियोडेटिक सर्वे इज टू डिटरमाइन द प्रिजाइजली द रिलेटिव और एप्सुलेट पोजिशन बिकॉज यू हैव डिटरमाइन द ट्रू शेप और डायमेंशन ऑफ अर्थ सो फर्स्ट यू हैव फाइंड द प्रिजाइजली ऑल द लोकेशन और हॉरिजेंट कंट्रोल पॉइंट सो डिटरमाइन द प्रिजाइजली रिलेटिव और एप्सुलेट पोजिशन ऑफ दिस पॉइंट सो यू हैव डायरेक्टली फाइंड द ट्रू शेप और taken the dimension of the earth so you have find or determining the true shape or dimension you have first find the precisely relative or absolute of the horizontal control point so what is the relative or absolute position point like you have find the location like latitude longitude altitude bearing angle so this type of measurement you have called as a relative or absolute position of this point so you have find the distance between two station the latitude of this point longitude of this point precisely so you have directly find or determine the dimension of the earth so this is the main objective i have repeat this line the main objective of geodetic surveying is to be determine the precisely the relative or absolute position on the earth surface system of widely separated point like horizontal control point now geodetic surveying is usually undertaken by the state agency in india geodetic surveying is done by survey of india department is responsible for preparing the map now after understanding the what is geodetic surveying and objective of the geodetic surveying the main concept is a triangulation this is a most important concept to understanding the whole the chapter you know that in a plane survey the find the or determine the location of any point you have conduct the traverse but in a geodetic survey find the location of the any point so conduct the triangulation process so what is a triangulation process i have explained triangulation is the process of determining the location of a point by measuring the angle to it from known point at either end of a fixed base line rather than the measuring distance to the point directly so you have means i have explained with example triangulation is the process of determining the location here i have find de, uh, or determine this location of the point by measuring the angle from known point here these are two known points and fix the baseline so we have first fix the baseline and find the two angle and then you have determining the location of this point but here now in uh, all the session of plane survey you have find the directly the distance of the all the point but here you cannot directly find the distance you have first find the or fix the baseline then find measuring the angle precisely and then find the location of the various point so this is a difference between the traversing and triangulation i have repeat this line triangulation is the process of determining the location of point by measuring the angle to it from known point at either end of the fixed baseline rather than the measuring distance to the point directly the point can or the point can get be fixed as the third point of triangle with one side and two known angles means one side is is called as the baseline and two angle are fixed so you have uh, find or fix the third point triangulation can also refer to the accurate surveying of system of very large triangle so is called as a triangulation network this is a triangulation network the interconnected of the triangle is also called as the triangulation network so this is a basic concept of triangulation now next concept is the principle of triangulation so principle of triangulation or principle of geodetic surveying is based on on the sign rule you know that in a sign rule one line or uh, one length 
of the line is determined and two angle are determined so you have directly measured the or length, get the length of other two sides similar that here if the length and bearing of one side and three angle of triangle are measured precisely means here consider the triangle one two three two three is a base line means precisely directly with step or chain so a is find found and three angle are measured like a b and c capital a b and c there are three angle of triangle so first you have find the length and three angle precisely so directly you have find the length and direction of other two side using the side tool. precisely measure line is called the base line so this is a base line now you have find the other two side like b and c so now i am explain how to find the other side b and c so first you have consider the triangle 1 2 3 small a small b small c is denoted as a uh, length of the sides and capital a capital b and capital c are used to denote the angle now one length a is measured i have already explained a is already measured this is a base line and angle is measured a b and c so you have using the sine rule you know that the sine rule is called as a the side divided by the opposite angle so a is the side and is opposite angle is a so sin a equal to b upon sin b equal to c upon sin c so you know that a is already find that all the angle are found so you have directly find the b and c means other two sides so the give the formula is b equal to a sin b divided by sin a and c equal to a sin c divided by sin a now next triangle 1 3 and 4 so you have find the b depending upon this formula so you directly find the other two side and find the three angle precisely so get the side of 1 4 and 4 3 so you have find the length of or distance between the 1 4 and distance between two three four directly because b is known because b you already find the in a from the sine rule similar that in the tri tri third triangle you get the value of four three so you directly find the value of three five and four five so you directly find the distance between four five and three five. so this is the principle of triangulation i have repeat this term if the length and bearing of one side and three length three angle of triangle are measured precisely the angle and direction of other two side can be computed using the sign last what is the purpose of the triangulation so to establish the accurate control point for plane and geodetic survey of larger area second that establish the accurate control point of photographic survey third accurate location of engineering work and last to find out the size and shape of the earth by making the observation for latitude and longitude and gravity so use the triangulation so this is the purpose of the triangulation so student in this session i have explained what is a geodetic survey what is the difference between the plane and geodetic survey what are the object or what is the objective of the this type of survey and i have explained the principle of the triangulation so thank you so much for watching this video